We begin tonight in the Bay of Plenty, where a state of emergency has been declared as Cyclone Cook prepares to make landfall, bringing very heavy rain to areas that are already saturated. Last Thursday, parts of Edgecombe were heavily flooded, of course, and locals have told us they could have had more warning. In fact, they say they should have. Two College Road residents who returned to their homes this morning say Civil Defence, the Council and the Fire Service were at the stop bank, which was leaking and under serious pressure early last Thursday, but those officials did not warn residents of the potential for disaster. In a moment, we'll hear from Mayor Tony Bond, but first here's Mihi Narangi Forbes. Bernadine Ngahu and Russell Milne are neighbours at Edgecombe's College Road. Both returned home to their homes which border the Rangitaiki River, just 30 metres from the stop bank which burst its banks without warning last Thursday. But Ms Ngahu says lives were unnecessarily put at risk that morning. And we actually got up that morning and actually went on to the stop bank and that's when it was about a foot from the top. And there were civil defence people and looked like um, some of the fire brigade who were close by the wall checking out as well. She says residents received no indication or warning they should leave their homes. She even took her two-year-old mokopuna out for a look. So because I saw the fire engine outside, obviously I took my grandson outside just to have a look at the, the fire truck and that sort of thing. I think some sort of digger come in, which my grandson was even more excited about, and then all of a sudden we just saw water churning and bubbling and we were still watching then saw the churning and all I heard was this guy go something to the effect of holy shit this thing's gonna go I'm out of here and then that was it the wall just collapsed. Neighbour Russell Milne recalls the officials arrive at the stop bank. Well I was there when it went eight o'clock and everybody man his dog turned up the fire brigade the police and everybody. Next thing is the digger turned up. When the, the digger turned up, the uh, police and the fire brigade moved out and the digger driver got off to get his uh, digger off the truck, had put his ramps down on the truck. Next I heard him screaming, I'm getting out of here. But both Bernadine and Russell say they have vital information about how events unfolded that day, but nobody is listening. She says despite council officials, the fire service and civil defence being on site from early that morning, residents were not warned. Absolutely like you guys put us in risk. You had knowledge that something was going to happen and you had hours of that knowledge, you know, and you couldn't even do a door knock to knock just to let people know it would probably seriously best if you just get out of here. Bernadine says to make matters worse, civil defence could give them no information about where to go as they evacuated. And then even post that, when we were um, down the road a bit, we had, you know, the um, civil defence and the fire brigade people saying, you need to get out of here now. And my only response was, that's okay. Can you tell us what roads are open? Because we're hearing a lot about certain roads, our exit outs were, and they said, well, we don't know. And I said, cool. So you want us to jump in a vehicle, potentially drive around in circles until we can actually find an open road, because you don't no. Remarkably, both Bernadine and Russell's homes have been spared from the floods. A sodden garden, the worst of the damage, but they feel for their neighbours who weren't so lucky. Oh, jeez. Bloody unreal. Mother, you can't, um, can't fight Mother Nature. It'll be at least 10 days before the neighbours will be allowed to move back in permanently. In the meantime, Bernadine has left a big bowl of kai for her cat. Bus, 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 bus. And both neighbours hope to be part of the inquiry. You said earlier that the counts, there were council workers, there was civil defence, there were the fire brigade mm -hmm. at the wall, and then they left. Yeah. Do why do you think they left? Maybe they were scared that something was going to happen. I can't think of any other reason. Those pictures uh, with me, he's report shot by Bradley Ambrose, Bradley White. Sorry.